Pluto is a distant and confounding planet that was once a person from our nearby planet gatherings planetary family. However, recent disturbing announcements by leading astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and MIT's Michio Kaku have brought Pluto back into the spotlight with a dazzling revelation. They suggest that this cold world is on a potential collision course with Neptune. However, how should this happen? And what may be the results of such an immense event? Are we seeing a fascinating, enormous quirk? Or is there something different to this oncoming immense accident? Join us as we examine the potential results of a Pluto-Neptune impact. Pluto, a former planet that was downsized to a dwarf planet, somewhat due to its uncommon orbit, remains a subject of interest and study in the cosmic community. As shown by late forecasts by leading analysts, Pluto's trajectory is dangerously close to Neptune's. Leading astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku are both raising the alarm of a potential catastrophic effect between these two planets that could pose a significant risk to Earth. How is such an event even possible? Pluto's excursion around the Sun is unlike any other planet in our nearby planetary system. It takes a staggering 248 years to complete a single orbit. This means that since its discovery in 1930, it hasn't even completed one full revolution. However, the interest doesn't stop there. Pluto's orbit is marked by its particularly bended shape, straying fundamentally from the almost roundabout orbits of the major planets. What makes Pluto's orbit even more intriguing is its inclination, determined at 17 degrees to the ecliptic plane. The path Pluto follows is considerably steeper compared to the other planets. This inclination and whimsical nature add layers of complexity to its orbital pattern. Conceivably one of the most intriguing aspects of Pluto's orbit is its convergence with Neptune's path for nearly 20 years in each cycle. Pluto actually approaches the Sun more closely than Neptune, challenging what we might expect from their positions in the solar system. This prompts the natural question, why hasn't Pluto collided with Neptune? The answer lies in the gravitational influences of other planets. The examination of Pluto's orbit began shortly after its discovery. Initially, cosmologists endeavored to sort out its strange trajectory. Unlike other planets, whose orbits lie relatively close to the ecliptic plane, Pluto's path stands out with its steep inclination and erratic shape. The mystery extended with the acknowledgement that Pluto's orbit indeed crosses Neptune's. The stability of Pluto's orbit amidst these complexities is proof of the intricacies of celestial mechanics. The three-body problem in space is about figuring out how three objects in space, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, move and affect each other with their gravity. It's like trying to predict where they will go based on where they start and how they pull on each other. In Pluto's case, this problem illustrates how its orbit, Neptune's path, and the Sun's gravity all work together in a complex manner. The terms alpha libration and degree libration, alongside the Kozai oscillation, are important in this conundrum. According to astrophysicists, what keeps all planets in their orbits is a phenomenon called alpha libration. With respect to Pluto and Neptune, this term actually means that when Pluto crosses Neptune's orbit, it is positioned about 90 degrees away from Neptune. This spatial separation is critical in keeping their paths from impacting. Degree libration, on the other hand, refers to the upward movement of a celestial body in its orbit. For Pluto, this means that when it comes closest to Neptune or any other giant planet, it's positioned fundamentally above their orbital plane providing an additional layer of protection from potential collisions. Another significant factor in this scenario is the Kozai Oscillation, named after three researchers, Bon, Zipper, Leo, and Kai, who studied how things move in space. It's about how three celestial objects, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, pull on one another with their gravity. This pulling affects how they move. For Pluto's case, the Kozai Oscillation helps us understand why its path around the Sun is so unusual. Despite Pluto's orbit seeming turbulent, 
This oscillation helps keep it moving smoothly over long periods. The Kozai oscillation shows that even if things in space appear wild and sporadic, some patterns and rules keep everything together. These factors help maintain Pluto's orbit, ensuring it doesn't crash into Neptune or lose its course. This three-body problem aids in understanding how these paths change based on how these celestial objects pull on each other. Focusing on this helps us learn more about Pluto, our solar system, and distant worlds and their stars. Numerical simulations in the late 1980s revealed that despite these stable properties, Pluto's orbit is indeed turbulent, with minor deviations in initial conditions leading to enormous differences over millions of years. However, these particular properties of Pluto's orbit have been found to maintain stability over extremely long time scales, effectively keeping the chaos in check. Recent computer simulations have helped us understand how the giant planets, like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn, impact Pluto's path around the Sun. Neptune has a unique relationship with Pluto, where for every two orbits Pluto makes around the Sun, Neptune makes three. This association helps keep Pluto's orbit stable. However, Neptune isn't the only factor. Jupiter's gravity also plays a significant role in stabilizing Pluto's orbit, and Saturn contributes substantially as well. These simulations demonstrate that Jupiter's gravity alone is strong enough to ensure Pluto stays on a stable path for a long time, even billions of years. It seems that Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn are working together to ensure Pluto continues to move securely in space without running into trouble. These phenomena are fundamental regarding the universe for maintaining the stability and consistency of celestial bodies' movements. Without these factors, the solar system as we know it would be a place of much greater disorder and unpredictability. Bodies like Pluto could potentially collide with others or be ejected from their stable paths, leading to a domino effect on other celestial bodies. For Pluto, particularly with discussions about it possibly colliding with Neptune in the future, understanding its orbit is genuinely crucial. This gives us a clearer picture of the planetary system's dynamic nature. The case of Pluto outlines how even the most seemingly unstable orbits can achieve a state of harmony through the complex interplay of gravitational forces and orbital mechanics. It also highlights the importance of continuous observation and analysis of these phenomena to better understand our place in the universe. Investigating the depths of space often leads us to confront the strange nature of celestial bodies, and Pluto's orbit is an ideal representation of this oddity. The concept of orbital chaos, which refers to the sensitive dependence of a celestial body's path on its initial conditions, is strikingly illustrated in the case of Pluto. This means that even slight variations in the dwarf planet's position or speed can significantly alter its long-term trajectory. In the vast expanse of our solar system, Pluto occupies a unique position that challenges our understanding of planetary order and dynamics. Since its discovery in 1930, Pluto has undergone extensive study, leading to significant revelations about its composition and behavior. One of the most captivating aspects of Pluto is its surface, which is a complex tapestry of ice, rock, and various compounds. The New Horizons mission, which flew by Pluto in July 2015, provided striking data about this distant world. The surface of Pluto is characterized by vast plains, towering mountains, and deep valleys. One of the most remarkable features is the Sputnik Planum, a large heart-shaped plane that is primarily composed of nitrogen ice. This region exhibits a diverse array of landforms, including massive icebergs and what appear to be flowing glaciers. The presence of these features suggests that Pluto may still be geologically active, despite its significant distance from the sun and low temperatures. Another intriguing aspect of Pluto is its atmosphere primarily composed of nitrogen with traces of methane and carbon monoxide. Pluto's atmosphere is tenuous, yet it exhibits fascinating seasonal variations. As Pluto draws closer to the Sun in its elongated orbit, 
its atmosphere can expand and contract. This dynamic behavior is a reflection of the complex relationship between Pluto and its environment. During its closest approach to the Sun, some of the atmospheric gases may freeze out onto the surface. While as it moves farther away, these gases can sublimate back into the atmosphere. The relationship between Pluto and its largest moon, Charon, further adds complexity to the system. Charon is relatively large compared to Pluto, with a diameter about half that of Pluto itself. This size ratio means that both bodies are in a mutual orbit around a point in space that lies between them, rather than Pluto simply rotating around Charon. This unique relationship contributes to the complex gravitational dynamics in the region, influencing the orbits of other objects in the Kuiper Belt. The Kuiper Belt, a region beyond Neptune populated with small icy bodies, is home to various other dwarf planets and potential impactors. This belt serves as a reservoir of primordial material from the early solar system, providing valuable insights into its formation and evolution.